Welcome to my channel Success Sequence where we daily analyze Nifty Bank Nifty's expected move and important level for the next day. So if you guys remember my previous video, I did mention that market is right now trading below is crucial support zone which is 55 days exponential moving average. All the moving averages are above it. So if at all market tries to go higher, all the moving averages which is trading right above it will uh, will prove to be a resistance and market need to close that resistance one by one to see a highs. So MACD as always is right now trading in a negative zone. So any bearish crossover in a negative zone will take market further down. RSI is also uh, trading below its 50 level. 50 is a quite important support zone. If you can see a bounce back from 50 level, that level is quite strong support level and that should hold. So since market was trading at a 55 days exponential moving average and RSI support 50 was yet to be broken. I was expecting some sort of bounce back going on but since as we can see clearly market is not at all bears are not at all giving up and market is not at all sustaining at high levels 9800 if you can remember uh, uh, we discussed in last video is a strong uh, resistance zone and market need to close above that level if we want to see any sort of up move going forward so let us talk about option activity range and then we uh, step by step analyze candlestick moving averages and what are the other indicators is suggesting so if I see uh, option activity range is uh, between 9400 to 10,000 so 250 points up 350 points down so now let's look at and analyze what this 250 and 350 move is suggesting so if I see in today's move I can see that call short covering has happened at uh, 9400 to 9600 level 9650 and 9750 are the levels where market has seen fresh bullish position being made 9800 to 10,000 level uh, I can see call short covering and call writing being taken place so what I can uh, conclude from this uh, sort of uh, option activity range is that 9800 is still a troubling point because we can see some sort of uh, call writing at a higher levels so 9800 is an important level market need to close above this level if we want to see some uh, if we want to see any highs being made so that was for the call and now let us see what the put participants are expecting so 9400 to 9700 level i can see put writing is being done so maximum put writing is done at a level of uh, 9400 uh, followed by 9600 and 9650 so right now what i feel is market participants are some sort of uh, comfortable or they are expecting some sort of uh, support at a lower level which is 9700 is the immediate support that they are expecting because put writing has uh, done at this level apart from that at high level i can see that put, put longs are covered now and the put writing is taken place at a 9900 so quite a mixed uh, option chain data i would say and i don't think uh, this kind of data would be of any help as far as our analysis is concerned so let us uh, turn back our heads to the analysis of moving averages and various supports that we used to uh, conclude based on the market psychology itself so if you see here um, this is the zone where market uh, pull up uh, went up uh, some sort of resistance for there and then finally market went up again came down here again take a support finally went up so current level at uh, where market is trading right now is sort of a troubling zone so unless and until market goes out of this level then only we are able to see some sort of uh, convincing move at either side so if you can see today eight days uh, this white line is eight days uh, simple moving average market did touch that level also and 55 days exponential moving average market did touch that level also so uh, there is a confusion going on among market participants and no one is sure uh, whether market uh, will take a u-turn from here or it will continue its journey towards the downwards so MACD as always is suggesting a bearish move because it because it is trading below a uh, uh, zero line so which is a negative zone any crossover bearish crossover and you will see definitely market falling further RSI as I said is trading below 50 level so that is also not a good sign uh, CCA as I said is at 100 level any acceleration toward minus 200 will uh, drag the uh, nifty to below level so now let us uh, try and identify what are the levels that we should expect so if you just analyze market uh, two days candle if you can see market did went uh, much lower and now if you can see market did 
so uh, basically what i am trying to suggest is lower lows is being formed so if this if this patterns continue uh, you will be uh, observing a range bound activity in upcoming sessions so what i feel is 8 uh, days exponential moving average and 55 days exponential moving average will be the range which market needs to break to see any convincing move on either side so that was my analysis for the uh, bank nifty but i feel that if you see a bearish crossover being uh, being formed at at a macd and a uh, break below 55 days exponential moving average i think uh, we should take a bearish position with a target of at least 9717 or 9720 could be there but first you need to watch out for the labels where market did uh, reverse from the past so 9738 is a label where market can uh, if at all they want to reverse it can reverse otherwise if it breaks 9740 level you can definitely uh, take a short trade and expect a label till 9 720 so that will be a short trade and with a uh, naturally the risk reward ratio will be favorable because you will be covering uh, your position as, as soon as market uh, breaks this 55 days moving average upside so that that, that was my analysis for the uh, nifty and now let's quickly find out what the bank nifty is suggesting so let us first discuss uh, discuss uh, the option activity range for the bank nifty so bank nifty option activity range is 23500 to 24700 so okay second yeah so 23 uh, 500 and 24 700 so 700 points on upside and 500 points on a downside now let us find out what these points are suggesting so first we'll concentrate on a call side so what i can observe is 23500 and 24100 fresh bullish position is being formed so maximum change in open interest as per uh, sentiments wise if i can say is uh, 20 at is at a level of 23500 and 23000 23900 so i can observe a uh, not that much significant change in open interest but what i feel is 24100 is a level where maximum uh, not maximum but uh, sort of average uh, move has happened so that is suggesting bullishness so 23500 to 24100 market participants are expecting bullishness and 24200 again to 24700 market participants are expecting bearishness so clearly 24100 is a level we should watch out for any break above at side and any break above this level and 24200 players will either start to more aggressively write their call option or they will try to cover their call option so if anything happens if they write call option market will go down again and if they cover their call short you will see an immediate bounce from 24 100 level so let us see now what the put option players are suggesting so as you can see 23 500 and 24 100 again is a comfortable zone for the put writers and i can see quite a good amount of put writing being taken uh, being done at this level so maximum change in open interest uh, as per percentage terms is at a level of 23700 and maximum change in open interest uh, on actual basis number of share basis is at a level of uh, 23700 so still it is below uh, the spot value so we can say that market has a limited downside but still on higher side i can see that uh, put long has been covered so now we what we need to see is either put writing or a fresh bullish position if these things happen then only market can go up i'm talking about bank nifty so now let us uh, look at the candlestick and moving averages and all other indicators and what they are suggesting so as you can see guys there is a quite broad range wherein market is trading so if you are following along with me i i did mention that this 34 days exponential moving average and 55 days exponential moving average uh, unless and until market breaks this level convincingly then only you will be able to see a convincing move so if you can see here yeah, market did break out on a uh, on a upside and you can see a good gains however the gain did not sustain and market immediately fell um, uh, fall below this level and now it is trading again in this narrow zone so i am I am of the strong opinion that unless and until market breaks this range, and uh, trust me, guys, once this range is broken, you will you are going to see a very big move either on upside or on the downside. Because the more time uh, uh, stock uh, stock uh, holds on a particular uh, range, the more uh, the higher the chances the of a uh, aggressive move on either side. So, the uh, more time it takes to break the range, the more aggressive uh, the move will be. uh still 
uh, let us see MACD MACD is trading at a negative zone uh, and uh, you can see a bullish crossover is trying to get formed but any crossover bearish crossover below uh, zero line that is in negative zone will take market much lower so uh, what I feel is since RSI is also trading below uh, 50 level MACD is also trading in a negative zone now you should watch out for CCI any change in CCI from minus 100 to minus uh, 200 zone will definitely help you to predict the next move in the market so what i feel is uh, cci is now trading at a minus 100 zone so it is suggesting that the uh, move that we are observing that is a bearish move is likely to hold and if and i i am i think i feel that the 55 days exponential moving average uh, should get broken uh, in the days to come so if at all that happens uh, what you can expect is at least a level of, of a 23745 if the break happens at all if on a higher side market breaks you can first target uh, you should aim is 24257 or 24258 so these are the two levels you should be watching out if you want to trade a range breakout uh, apart from that if you want to trade any convincing move uh, wait for the range to get clear uh, either on the upside or on the downside then then you can take a trade accordingly so try to take a trade near the uh, moving averages so that you can uh, but you will be able to better manage your risk reward in terms of uh, uh, Position, uh, push, positioning your positioning your trade is concerned so that is the thing i am trying to explain that always try to buy near support and sell near resistance so that helps you to uh, to manage your risk quite efficiently so that was my analysis for nifty and bank nifty today uh, if you like my video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell icon share it with your friends and family and as always if you have any doubt or comment uh, that you want to share please uh, use the comment section of the video and uh, and please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, you can also subscribe to my whatsapp at uh, 95743 so in my whatsapp group i regularly share one report which is proving to be of great help to a call and put writer but again let me tell you guys some of the players are resorting to call writing and put writing just by observing my strategies so let me tell you guys call writing and put writing is a very risky strategy especially in a bank nifty because we are we can observe a wild thing taking place in any of the side so be very careful if you are uh, if you are at all want to take a call short a call short or put short position uh, make sure you hedge your position so that if at all loss happens it will be kept to your uh, to your risk appetite so that's it for the today's video i'll i'll meet you in the next video thank you